Hello everyone, welcome back. Welcome back to another vlog of my channel. I am Kishalo. I hope you all are doing well. Uh, so today is 8th of July. Uh, it's Monday and today is my third day at London. Uh, so now the local time is 7 a.m. in the morning. And from today the summer school is being started at uh, the Log ML Summer School uh, in Imperial College of London. Uh, so the reporting time is 9 a.m. So first 30 minutes is just for registration. And there are then there are two talks. And the second half, we have our project. Uh, I mean, we have to work in a project. So that part is there. And finally, there will be a poster session. So that's the schedule for the first day. It's a very busy day because there are a lot of things will be happening in the in the summer school. So I'll be getting ready now. Uh, then I'll have some breakfast. So I'm staying in Airbnb. So, you know, in Airbnb, you can prepare your food because kitchen and all is there. So I'll prepare food. I'll have my breakfast. And then I'll be going for... Uh, the college the college is just five minutes away from where i'm staying so yeah that's how i'm starting this vlog i th i think it will be continued till the last day of uh, this summer school because everything will be there in this in this single blog so yeah if you want to know detail about it please stay tuned with with, with me and to do this year we were going to put on the applications so it wasn't easy to get a spot um, as you know already the way the summer school is organized you were all assigned to like different projects difficult to deal with and uh, a couple other of these kind of complications that you might run into are uh, for example you get non-uniqueness so you might have valid locally for example that maybe that's good enough for you um, and so so yeah again th this is kind of the, the, the kind of uh, underlying point here, of course, it's an image, a lot of pixels, a lot of colors, and it's and then you transform that image with a, a very heavy image processing graphs right here, uh, and the distributions uh, during the training has been perfectly aligned, as you can see there are is, and we can identify the discriminative feature. So in the, interestingly, here the discriminative feature happens to be this, you know. That's how we're doing until we collapse all of your population to one single center, and that would be the, the template. So. So, so uh, what is your feeling about this? I don't know who's watching that one. So basically, there are other versions of things here which have drawn down issues. So in that case, I think it's my feeling like a giant kind of a So just to find the shape of 
Who is it? Gishle is not here, so you can contact me. <laughs> enabled us to have access uh, to reliable uh, transformations of the, of the molecule or protein sequences uh, to 3D structures. That are contribution, which is uh, this paper that we published in uh, AI of this year, um, and it is about uh, captioning or generating captions. <laughs> Then the order from the app to the
sequences, there are structures, there are text. Uh, so our initial thought was to get curious about that, how the different choices of protein input, input differences and can be related to the performance of downstream tasks. And when it is preferable to utilize sequence, structure, text or other forms of representation. And what is, is there any uni universally optimal representation that is possible? I think that's all from my side. Thank you for being here. Big congratulations. It has been very competitive to be selected. Uh, and uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Before we...